Taurus singles. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to take a look at what you guys have as far as options are concerned in love for November 17th, <coughs> excuse me, through the 24th for Taurus singles. What do we have for Taurus singles in love? What options do you guys have? Options for Taurus, single. What's going on? Taurus. These cards not wanting to act right. Hmm. Taurus, singles. Look at that. Yeah, you guys being stubborn. Or somebody being stubborn with you. Taurus, singles. Alright guys, one more shuffle. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, somebody left to start something over, to begin something new, leaving something behind that um, is no longer right for you, I feel, um, or right for them. But this is somebody looks like walking out of another relationship and trying to start with somebody else, something else here. Here we have we have the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, two Aces. That is major opportunity to start something new. And for some of you, it looks like um, you are just trying to start up. A business like maybe you're becoming an entrepreneur leaving a job that where there was a lot of backbiting and just deciding to venture out and start something new and you have the tools to do it okay others of you as far as relationship is concerned I say you guys want to start something new with somebody leaving somebody else behind that probably was not good for you and i see you making an offer i see you asking someone out on a date and the person that you're dealing with could be gemini virgo Um, the person that you are interested in. I see this person being um, very friendly, very, very grounded. They, it's like they, um, they're well-rounded. They are well-rounded. Uh, for others of you, this person is an Aquarius, and I would be a little leery only because this person is leaving someone else coming towards you. So I don't know if they're the kind of person that when the going gets tough, they get going. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now we have three aces. This person sees you, you know. Now this this gets a little tricky. Because I feel like this person, this person has left someone to try to start with you, but at the same time, they haven't completely let go of this person. I don't know what the deal is here, but it seems like 
this person that they were dealing with was is is quite attractive and they have a lot of love for this person i feel i feel like there was something very fiery and um scary about this person but they still have a lot of love here for this person and I'm not sure if they're coming towards you because they find you attractive. They find you alluring. They see something um, almost, um, what do you call it? They're intrigued by you. Like there is an air of mystery there for them. Because all, although they've left this person, and I feel like it's probably been, I mean, it's been a while ago, not very recently, like in the last month, but it hasn't been years ago that they walked away from this individual that they're still looking back at and quite possibly trying to start something again with them. But at the same time, using coming towards you as insurance in case this person does not take them back. You see here, there is a juggling going on. So be very, very careful here. There's juggling going on. Um, I feel like, you know, they are trying to have insurance. Like they're really, they're really hoping to build with this person, which is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. but they're not sure if this person is going to turn them down here if they come back and say sorry for whatever they did and so it's like you know keeping one hand in a pocket almost if you know what that means like not showing everything here There's Aquarius, um, there's Gemini, Virgo energy, um, Capricorn here, okay? So be leery of that, guys, I would say. All right? So that's what your option is for the week of the 17th through the 24th.